Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete. I'm here at DIY Auto School. And what we're doing, we are finalizing the bodywork on this Camaro. Now, this is a one owner Camaro. All the sheet metal on this car is factory original except this piece down here. And we want to keep all the factory sheet metal on this vehicle. So the hood was really messed up in the front right there. And you can see that, that I skimmed it with uh, polyester filler to uh, fill in the dance and finalize it up. And what happened is from pushing the hood down, pushing the hood down with the palms of the hand, bam, it indented it and dented the hood. So we fixed that. Um, what you're looking at here on the hood of the car, these are the tools. These are your main body shop tools that you need to have in your toolbox if you are beginning, or should I say, if you are a beginner in doing body work. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. I say if you're a beginner is because when you begin to do body work in paint and body in the paint and body industry you don't want to use air tools let me get a couple air tools to show you what I'm talking about okay these are just random air tools that I grabbed this is a mini air file I'm sorry this is a mini air file right here and then we got a DA sander right here. We're going to go ahead and put those out of the way because we're not talking about those right now. To learn body work properly, you have to know how to use these right here. And what these are, these are hand sanders. These require nothing but your hand and elbow grease to make work properly. Now I went ahead and included a few other tools because we know that you're going to need a good high quality body hammer and the body hammer that I use all right it's a flat pick hammer. This is my main body hammer it's not a it doesn't have a waffle face shrinking on it all right it's a pick style flat pick style body hammer. Now another tool that you're going to need which is pretty much uh, 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 a necessity is a hand dolly. Now this is an overall dolly that is good to use all right on pretty much 75 to 80 percent of all hammer and dolly action that you might do on a vehicle. I'll give you a good look at that. And you can see that it's got a curved edge here. It's got a nice flat skinny edge right here. And then over here we got a, a, a flat edge on that side. And then you got this right here. And then if need be, you got that round curve and the ball end right there. So this style dolly is the most common dolly right here. And this is the dolly that you should have in your toolbox. Now another hand tool that you should have in your toolbox, and I wouldn't suggest to use this all the time, but this is called a cheese grater. Now these come in different sizes, shapes, and forms. This is just one that I have. You should have two or three of these different sizes, shapes, and forms. They make one 
that is a very small palm. Uh, it's about this big right here that you can use with one hand. Then they got, they got ones that are just like this, except it has a curved, okay, for corners. So that's a tool that you should have in there anyway to do hand type body work. This is for beginners, okay? The only way that you're going to learn how to do body work is to start out with this right here. This is the only tools you need. And I am going to finish these out using these sanders to show you to do it properly. You must know how to use the hand block. You must know how to use the dura block. You must know how to use the hard block. All right? And then what we got here, we got a flex block. And once and final, we got a very, very special block that everybody should be using, and it's called a paint stick. <laughs> So if we look at our hood right here, right in the front, you can see where I've already started the bodywork, and then I have actually put one more small layer on top of this. Over here, we see where I had to cover this whole section. I had to cover the whole thing one more time. Now, in reality, I can go ahead and use my air file, and I can also use possibly my DA sander to bust it down, and then I would come back and then fine tune it by hand sanding it. But since we are showing you the beginner way of learning bodywork, because that's what this is all about, I'm going to show you the variances of using the block sanders, your hand block sanders, to achieve the sanding quality we need on this hood to say it's done right. And one more tool that's the most important is a good, good dust mask. Always wear a dust mask no matter what you're doing. Even if you have good ventilation, you should always have your dust mask on. So we're going to go very quickly. I'm going to show you very simple and easy steps how to finish out your body work by hand. Because to be a professional body man, you have to know how to use the block sanders. Now, one of my favorite block sanders that I have is this one right here. This is a Hutchins Speed File. This is made by Hutchins Tools. It is made of plastic. All right, it is uh, a 13 inch or whatever size that is, maybe a 16 inch standard issue size file. But if you look real close, you can see how it has a mild flex to it. That means that we're going to be able to follow that contour perfect by using our Hutch Hutchins uh, speed file in cutting down the Bondo that we need to cut down. All right, very easy, very nice to use, and it's very comfortable. And on the hood, I'm going to go ahead and explain. On hoods and trunks, you want to be very careful putting a lot of force down. You don't want to push real hard because it will warp the metal. What we're going to do is we are going to let the sander do the work ourselves, and we're just going to guide it. We're going to put just mild force. And when I say mild, that means we're going to be pushing down on it. Can you see that? Just enough to follow the contour.
Okay, now that we have blocked this out using our Hudson speed file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dura block. I'm still sanding my hand because this we're beginners. You see what I'm saying? We're beginners. We're not professionals. We're just learning how to do this. The only way you're going to learn how to do it is you got to feel it. You got to know where it's at. You got to you got to be able to see it and feel it at the same time. The only way you're going to do that is by hand sanding, not using an air file, not using a DA. So we got this round curve right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dowel, okay? This is a Dura block, block, and it's a round dowel. I got my 36 grit on it, and I'm just going to clean that up. Did you see how I was sanding that? I wasn't sanding it back and forth. I was sanding it and pushing it in. Just like that. Okay? And what that's doing, that's feathering it all out and molding it in to where I want it to be. Let's go ahead and take our speed file one more time. Now we'll clean that off. Just like this. And what we're looking at, we're looking for some more hot low spots that we missed. I see right here along this edge, I can see where the sander didn't hit it. And you can see that right there. See how it's dark right here? That means that it's either low or there's too much bondo over here in this area. That means that's a little, and I'm speculating there's too much bondo here because we got us a nice curve here and we need to build that curve back up. So we'll go ahead and take our speed file and we're gonna follow that edge and we don't want to, we really don't want to sand any more out here. We just want to clean that edge up. So I'm gonna take one hand, do you see how I'm doing this? And I'm gonna kind of set it at an angle to clean that corner up. And then I'm going to feather it out. See, I'm going to cross cut it. There we go. Look at that. And the only way you're going to learn how to do this, the only way that you're going to be able to do the body work properly is by hand sanding. Air tools are good for breaking the Bondo down, for cutting it down quick and working fast. To do a professional finish job on your body work, hand sanding is the only way to go. Now, as I was sanding this, I noticed I couldn't get this edge up here to feather out. And if you look at it, you can see the reason I didn't feather out, you can still see a square line right here. Alright, it should look like this. See how all this is feathered out real nice? But I notice there's a square edge and when I run my hand, I don't really feel, I can barely feel it. That's telling me that this is actually where the end of our dent is. And we have got to come out to here with it. Because we got all this done, there's a low spot right here. I don't want to sand anymore. We're starting to get high spots in the center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up some Evercoat. I'm sorry, I'm going to mix up some polyester filler. And then I'm going to give a nice smooth coat over that to get rid of it. And to level everything in and feather it out. All right, so I got my glaze putty right here, and a lot of companies out there make this stuff. 
And what this is used for is your final sweep, your final um, uh, spread of uh, filler. This is it right here. This is a polyester filler. They call it met, they call it glaze. Um, and we're going to go ahead and mix that up thoroughly. And then we're going to be putting a paper thin. We're going to put like a thin coat to a paper thin coat on it. And what we're going to do is we want to remember I told you we want to feather that out. We want to fill that in. There's a spot over here. So we're going to take our spreader. I got just a small curve to it, and I'm going to feather that out up here. I'm going to bring it out some more. See how I feathered that out by using this? Okay. See how it looks feathered out there? Watch. See, it's not square anymore. So, and then I'm going to bring it down here, and I'm going to bring it into, sorry about that. I'm going to bring it into the den itself and feather that out because I don't want it real thick here because we got to blend all this in this is a blend this is a filler blend job you might call it and then up here it doesn't look like it feathered too good as well so we're just going to go like that with it but I'm telling you right now and I want you to listen real close when I tell you this you would not be able to achieve what I just did by using air tools. The only thing that you're going to do with an air tool to professionally finish out bodywork like I'm doing right here is to use your hand sanders. You've got to master your hand sander right here. You've got to be able to master that before you can, what can I say, graduate from beginner to intermediate to professional. This is where it all starts, right here. So all we got to do now is let this dry. We're going to take our, um, our Hutchins speed file here and we'll bust that down. We're going to uh, break the top coat off and then after that's done, we'll come back with our Duroblock. All right, and I actually have another one over there that's bigger than this and I'll probably use that, which is this one right here. And then we'll use 80 grit on that to finish that out. And then that will be a professionally done, hand sanded, bodywork technique situation that my friend Pete showed you. So while we're letting this dry, let's move over to this section right here. And this section that we're looking at right here is basically in the stage of what I just did right here. Now I like to use a brush when my doors are closed because it doesn't create a lot of dust in the air. So take your dust broom and um, use that to clean your bodywork off when your doors are closed and you ain't got good ventilation. So if you look in this area here, you can see this is darker. That means that we had a, uh, a few imperfections, they were low spots, but everything else feathered out pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Hutchins speed file all right and then I got 36 on it now this is a used 36 okay remember we used it over here and all I'm going to do with that I just want to break off the top coat of that and at the same time I want to feather it out and level it out if that makes any sense Now, I don't know if you were just paying attention, but I wasn't sanding the whole thing. I was just concentrating on the dark spot right here. And that's because if I take my sander and I sand the whole thing down, it's going to break everything down that I've already leveled out. And we don't want to do that. little bit of a dark area right here and the reason I'm breaking it down with 36 is because if I would have broke it down with 80 grit it would have gummed the paper up real bad now that we got that broke down to where we want it we want to go ahead and take our Dura block which is another hand block and it's a semi flex block as well 
we want to go ahead and finish this out with 80 grit. Now, if you're going to be using 2K primer, uh, a high quality filler primer, 80 grit is all you have to go to. Actually, if you're using a top quality filler primer, a 2K filler primer, you only really need to go to 36 grit. But we're going to take it to 80 grit because when you take it to 80 grit, you can run your hand across that and really feel it good to see if it's all level and, and all, you got all the perfections out of it by using your hand. That looks good. It feels really, really nice. I like the way it came out. We got a little bit of imperfection right here. And that's where this comes in handy. What we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, paper, we're going to wrap it around, and then we're going to leave an end on it because that's good for a handle. And then we're going to use our paint stick to feather everything out and to make sure that it's all going to flow good. Okay, so what we got here, we got a nice finished piece of bodywork that we just got done. And we did everything by hand. I'm going to go ahead and take that flex sander and I'm just going to kind of feather this edge right here. See how you can take that flex, see how that'll flex and round out there. And that's all I want to do, that's it. That's all I want to do. I'll clean that edge up right here and this one is done. You know, I uh, don't know how many emails and phone calls I get that say, hey, my friend Pete, I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner, and, and I want to learn to do this. Which, what, what tool should I buy? Give me some ideas. Uh, you know, what tool should I buy? And I always tell them, okay, if you're going to buy air tools, you should always have a good DA sander and an air file. But you're not going to use that if you are a beginner. If you're a beginner, the best tool that you're going to have is your block sanders. All right? You're going to have a hard block. This is called a hard block. They still sell these. This thing actually weighs about a pound and a half. This is a very solid piece of rubber that is a solid block that will cut and break it down quicker than an air file. All right? You're going to have possibly maybe the DuraBlock kit. Okay? You're going to have your paint sticks. Very important. And you're also going to have your speed file, uh, your speed sander board. If you want to learn how to do it right, this is the way to do it. Right here, people. This is it. Elbow grease, your hands, a dust mask, and hand sanders. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, showing you and telling you to do this over here takes this to do it right. Because if we're not doing it right, we definitely aren't doing it at all.
classes don't stop till you know everything.